Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle tutorial on Illustrator brushes and turning them into symbols. Now I'm just going to, I'm using 221. Now some of the features I'm going to be using this are only for 221, such as the repeat feature, but you can use the same sort of approach for 2020, 2019 to create symbols from brushes. So I'm just going to remove that and I'm just going to go over to the brush tool. That's the basic first starting point. And I've got black there for the colour for the brush. And of course, now I need a brush. Key panels for this, window. And I think probably symbols obviously is going to be useful. And also brushes. And some other like properties and things are always very useful. So I've got them over there. Also, I've got some brushes here in the artistic ink. So now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to go over to brushes. And you can see, obviously there, or you just select a brush from obviously one of the libraries you've got open. So I'm just going to use this one. And very simple brush stroke, like I say, using black, and you can vary it in numerous ways. And once you've done that, what you can do, just select it, and you can go to symbols, and then you go to the right side menu there, and new symbol. So it's just saved as a symbol. You can save it as a dynamic symbol, or just a static symbol. I think personally, I might as well save it as dynamic. Perfectly reasonable, that's the default now. So click OK. So you can see it then straight away stored over there. So what you can then do is you can go over here to the symbol tool and here's the symbol sprayer. Now I've always felt that this tool would have probably been better if they'd put all the functionality into one tool instead of spreading it over multiple tools. Would have made it a bit more, I think, easier. But however, that's the way they've done it. And they've never added any additional tools, which is a pity because I think the symbols are really useful. So symbol sprayer, and what you do, you spray your design. Now, like I say, you can't now modify them particularly easily unless you use some of these tools. And I've got this, uh, whatever stainer there, I've got spinner. Now the one I'm just gonna use is the symbol spinner. And what that one does, it rotates. That's why I think it's slightly complicated to use. Maybe, I don't know if uh, symbols are that popular in terms of using it with this, but probably because the functionality is a bit, I think, a little bit fiddly and just, just applying it like this. It's not particularly ideal. And you can see what happens, they're all rotated. Or maybe just go over here and you've got the shifter or the scrunch or sizer. Let's go for the sizer. And you can apply it and you can see the size of some get bigger and the ones that are below, obviously they get bigger. The ones somewhere else slightly off there are not touched. Just depends on the size of the thing. So you can see the sizing is over this side and not over here. So you can, now I'm just going to remove the whole lot. And again, you can apply it numerous times if you want. But also you can of course create more interesting designs than that, I think. And then just going to go to the paintbrush tool again. Again, oh, trouble is once you've used it, you'll notice that the color is lost. So you might want to just quickly change that. And I'm just going to put it back to black. Now it could be red, green, blue, any color you want. If it actually changes. Thank you. Change. So it's amazing sometimes you change the color, click OK, and it doesn't seem to do it. Not certain why. Anyway, doesn't matter. Now, I'm just going to quickly add another design. And then you can do that sort of design, or maybe a design like this. Because the thing is, you can also use this brushes really effectively with the good old object. And I've used quite a few videos recently because they've introduced this with 221, the repeat and a radial. What you get then, you've got this brush and you can modify a number of instances. So you can create some very interesting designs there. You can change the angle there, the radius, the center. You can move it around. And also, if you want to, you can go and edit the individual items. So I'm just going to select one of them, just any of these, any of these designs, double click, and you can see you've got now the brush there. And you can modify that brush. Now, what you can do, you can also go over here, so you've got various tools, curvature tool, and you can actually add some additional points to it. So you can actually extend the brush if you want to create a more interesting brush there. But you can also squeeze it, 
rotate it, modify it, and you can see all kinds of different designs. And of course, what you can do, you can always change the color. So if you want to go for a red, you've got that design there. And also you can, if you want, simply hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate it. It allows you to do that. Yeah, there's the design. And if you want, of course, you can go and change the color to maybe green. And then once you've done that, you can come out of there. And you can see your design now. Well, now this design, which I think is a bit more complex, a bit more interesting as a symbol, what you can do, go over here to symbols again, and you've got the right side menu here, and new symbol. So that's the key thing. Just go to the right side, new symbol. So give it a name, it's a dynamic symbol again. And you've got your design there. So what you can then do is, I'm gonna go back to the good old symbol sprayer, there it is. So symbol sprayer, and you can see you can apply, and you can create some very intense designs, very quick and easy using the Now, unfortunately, one thing you can't do, if you just create one, let's just create one, is you can't object and repeat. You can't use the radial feature there. It'd be really great if you could, but sadly, it's not available. So you can see there with that, you can, so select that one, and again, if you look for it, there is symbol sprayer. You can apply symbols there, and you can do exactly the same as before. You can shift, scrunch, size, spinner, and spinner is quite a good one. So just you can make things. Obviously, if you've got multiple copies, they will rotate around at different rates depending on the, as you go over them. Now, what you can also do is you've got this design here now. You can edit it. So you can always go to over here, double click, and you're in to the symbol there. So you've got new symbol and you can modify it. And you'll notice what happens is the symbol has stored the repeat feature. So you can actually still edit the repeat. So you can change this setting here. So if you want to, you can modify this. This is all still, any changes here will be reflected in the symbols panel. So this change, if you've used this symbol and you're just modifying this, then that design will be changed for everything else. So you, uh, you can reduce the number down. Let's just reduce the number down there. And if I want to, I can even double click again. And you can go down to the level of this design. You can see, you can modify that. You can modify the individual ones if you want. And maybe change the color. And go with a blue one instead. And you can see the design there. Or maybe hold down the alter option key and duplicate and create another design there. Maybe change the size, reduce it, or whatever, extend it to the center. A number of possibles are there. So once you've done that, you can come out of that isolation mode, and you've got your design there. So you can see the change is done over there. Just change over there as well. So again, we'll go for the symbol spinner, uh, no, symbol sprayer. Just apply a couple there, there. And you can see, you can create quite an unusual tangled design with your brush stroke. Instead of applying brushes individually and creating a quite a weird, tangle. obviously there's a lot more designs than just tangle design like that. You can create more than that, but I just wanted to show that you can do that. Again, at any point you can say, you know what, I don't want that, but I can double click on this again. Go there, and I can change the number of instances. You can change that via properties as well. You can see there, repeat options you can modify that. So you can create a more intense design. Maybe if you want, you can always go and add some effects. So instead of having that, you can go maybe Gaussian blur, apply blur to it. Maybe not that intense, say a slight blur, don't want it too high, and then come out of that. And that symbol with that is then reflected all the way through with that brush stroke. So you've got all the way from a brush stroke, a very basic brush stroke, always to some a very weird blurry design, which can be modified repeatedly just by simply going to the symbols. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always had new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, Finity Photo, Finity Publisher, etc, etc. Also, please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel, always adding new videos in the rough every day or so. And also, please add some comments. Always appreciate it. anything I did wrong, anything I went too fast, didn't explain well enough, please put in the comments and I will try and maybe do another video, explain maybe a bit more detail. Also a dislike or like, 
Always appreciate it. Thank you much.